Genuine political refugees are sick and tired of illegal migrants coming here and make things difficult. Finally, someone's saying it. Because until now, the issue with Dover, the illegal boats from France, we both, a lot of people have been just focusing on and seeing it from the British native perspective. You know, of course, the burden on the public services uh, in terms of obviously the British citizens who um, have been working hard to contribute to the system and just get obviously the illegal migrants who enter the country illegally and then of course get free accommodation and go through the system generally. But this angle is new and we have to talk about this. Genuine refugees are sick and tired of illegal migrants taking up the, the space and the actual in, t in terms of the system and the bureaucracy. Operation Warm Welcome in that uh, Priti Patel started uh, over Afghanistan, the fall of Afghanistan. Now, with this issue, these were the people who, uh, in terms of the evacuation, we brought a lot of people away from Afghanistan. There were a number of problems with that, and we had already discussed this, that there was a risk that uh, you could have, of course, infiltration. Some people just infiltrating and pretending to be refugees. Yes, there are some people in there, and uh, around come to obviously risk to the system. There are people who... Uh, just obviously took the opportunity to um, leave um, to just obviously for a better life. Uh, but there are also a lot of people who literally cannot go back to Afghanistan. There are Their names are on a list. And these are the people who are genuine political refugees. And that is a problem because these people are now completely fed up with the system. The way the Operation Warm Welcome has let them down because we are paying more attention to the illegal migrant boats. And that's the biggest problem that we have. For example, there's one doctor... This GP, by the way, actually came from Afghanistan back in 2000 uh, to flee uh, the Taliban. And he's now um, working as a doctor in this country. So well done. Uh, he's essentially come out to say that uh, he's had a few patients in, in these hotels uh, up to where we're keeping the, the asylum seekers from Afghanistan, who we brought from Afghanistan ourselves, say that we've had a few patients there telling me that they want to go home. One guy who was 67, kept saying that I can't take this anymore. And they're just tired. They actually would rather go back. So this is the problem. These are the people. They're the genuine asylum seekers. But they're not here just to take, take advantage. Uh, they get so fed up that they would rather go back or just leave this country because we're not really paying enough attention uh, to them. We're not. I'm not saying we should do this like hippie, liberal, wishy-washy thing that you know, we just give free visas and free British um, citizenship to everybody. No, no, no. Go through the uh, process. You know, vet them, make sure that you know, they have a case, but at least make the system less bureaucratic. 1,100 illegal migrants crossed the English Channel uh, over the last couple of days. What do you think is happening? When you have the illegal migrants coming here, uh, it's a massive cost, by the way, to the country. They take up the space in terms of the, the bureaucratic process inside the Home Office. And then when you have not just the genuine asylum seekers, but also legal migrants, economic migrants, who are waiting on the list for years and years and you know, months and years, uh, and they just have to wait because these guys become priority. That's the issue that we have. It's about, it's about political correctness and also uh, certain aspects of the Human Rights Convention that, you know, of course, makes it difficult for uh, the Home Office to uh, do what they ideally should be doing. This is a big issue. We have to talk about this. We have to expose this because there are people who are being damaged. Local native residents of this country uh, who are born here and work hard. The new people who have come here legally who work hard. The people who want to enter this country legally, they get damaged too. And the actual genuine asylum seekers, they get damaged too just because some illegal migrants, with the help of actual criminals and smugglers, enter this country illegally and demand free benefits. Well, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. But also, if you want to help our work and continue uh, do what we do on a daily basis, then go to click on the link in the description, my2c.co.uk. That's the main, the podcast channel that we have. We have a, the premium content there where we talk about things that we can't really talk about on this platform, but also it's just a longer uh, format where we discuss things. It's more of a, a collaboration platform where we have a lot of guests, we have a lot of uh, co-hosts and uh, contributors where we discuss the big issues of the day. You could do a monthly subscription or you could just do a one-off annual payment or if you don't want to, there's a PayPal link in the description if you want to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mai2C, and I'll see you guys in the next video.